Hello, this is Erica from BlacksInperiodFilms.com, and today is day 10 of our Write It series for Black History Month. Today we'll be talking about Horace King. He was born 1807, died 1885, and was an American architect, engineer, and bridge builder. I consider him a genius because of how talented he was. He became one of the most respected bridge architects in the Chattahoochee River Valley. His legacy lives on today because of the amazingly beautiful spiraling staircase he built in the Alabama State Capitol. Here are some of the bridges he built, as well as um, some of the ironclads he built for the Confederacy. Now, to be clear, he did not support the Confederacy but he was conscripted to build these um, ships, and so he did. And you can read more about that in some articles that I'll have linked down below. I'm not gonna go into an extremely deep detail about his life. I'm just gonna point out a few things about his life. I think Horace King's life would be perfect for a series because so much happened in his life, because his life was so dynamic, because his life um, had so many layers to it, it would be perfect for a series. He was taught to read and write at an early age and became a proficient carpenter and mechanic when he was a teenager. By 1840, people started to call him a co-builder, which is something that they did not call slaves at that time. Slaves were considered property, and so they were not considered partners. But in his case, in Horace King's case, he was considered a co-builder. And by the early 1840s, he began working on his own. Eventually, he overshadowed his master and became a better, more re respected and well-known builder than his own master. Another aspect of his story that I like is that in many of the things in his endeavors, we, we have an, a happy ending. For example, a lot of times in many novels and films, they show slaves that are allowed to keep some of their income. They show these slaves working very hard, earning this income, and then thinking that they'll be able to use that income to purchase their freedom. But many times we receive a sad ending and the person, um, their master goes back on their deal. However, in Horace King's case, his master did not go back on his deal. He kept his word. When Horace King gave him his money, he was allowed to purchase his freedom. The Alabama State Capitol burned in 1849, and he was hired to construct the framework, as well as the twin spiral entry staircases, which he's most famously known for. And you can see that staircase to the right. It's very beautifully done. It's his knowledge of bridge building that allowed him to build that spiral staircase, which um, needs no central support to work. After the Civil War, he tried to establish a colony of freemen in Georgia, but that didn't work out. He was unsuccessful. That's also um, an endeavor that would be awesome to see on television. Him going about getting the resources and the, ne the necessary things he needs for the colony of freemen. Unfortunately, that didn't work out for him. However, it did end up in him being elected to the Alabama House of Representatives which interestingly enough is a role he did not really want. He did not like being a politician. He did not like sitting in there and listening to them read the laws. He only voted some of the time. He didn't even come into work all of the time. He much preferred being an artist. And that was that's something that I think um, I wanna kind of summarize his life with. He was a genius and he was an artist. I wanna see more films and series showing enslaved people as having layers. He was an artist and it would be awesome to see um, and it would be awesome to see that on television. He also had a nice family life. He married Frances Gold Thomas, a free woman, a free woman of color in 1839. They went on to have five children. Um, he was widowed in 1864 and remarried in 1865. I was very happy to learn that by the mid 1870s, he began to teach his bridge construction activities to his five children. 
and they were skilled just like he was. And they were able to form the King Brothers Bridge Company. So they carry on his legacy. When I was looking at pictures of him, two actors came to mind. So um, Roger Smith and Rick Fox are the two actors that came to mind for me. I've seen Roger Smith in um, a lot of things. He was most recently in Marshall. Um, I have not seen Rick Fox in any period productions, but this would be a great chance for him to do some period productions. I think he looks very much like Horace King, and so I think it would be awesome for Rick Fox to take on this role. But Roger Smith also has the look, I feel. So however we cast Horace King, we know that he was a talented, a very talented architect, an intelligent engineer, an amazing bridge builder. He was a father. He was a husband. He was a genius. And whether they turn his story into a series or a movie, someone should write it. <laughs>